Tracy here. I'm just going to share with you some layouts and in the next, I don't know how many videos and for how long, I'm going to share with you some completed layouts. I'm trying to get everything all organized and um, actually I, I started doing it quite a few years ago where I had the layouts with photos in tubs or bins and then layouts without photos in another bin. So what I had planned to do was put photos on layouts that didn't have photos on them, but I ended up just keeping making more layouts. So I'm going to share with you all the layouts. And what I'm trying to do is have um, put all my layouts in chronological order and have at least a layout a month in each yearly album. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with 2020 and moving backwards. So this is the fall of 2020, these layouts here. I've done so many takes already, so I don't know if I mentioned this already, but um, I'm going to share with you them by kit. And most of the kits came from Crop and Create. I usually attend the Crop and Create events, and I usually get all my kits from them. But these ones were in November, and they had a Crop and Create online virtual event because of with COVID, we couldn't get together in big groups. So what I did was, well, what we did, my girlfriend and I, we rented a room and then we had our own little crop. Like I decorated it. We had our own little photo shoot uh, or we had our own little photo wall. So we made the most out of a bad situation. So I'm gonna share with you the this kit. So this kit was called Collection Kit Crush by Virginia Nebel. And here are the pages. Here's the first page. And I stuck to the first page really well. I'm so proud that I actually have pictures on them. And these pictures are actually from last fall. So that's a double pat on the back for me. And then here is the second page. And I switched it up because I wanted the background. She had two different color backgrounds and I wanted it the same. So I used that. So this is the two page layout, very similar to Virginia's. I just changed a few things up, uh, which was the background paper mostly. And I do this a lot and um, I'm gonna share it with you a lot because if there's somebody new on here and I like to share tips too. So what I do is I knew I'd probably need a lot of the brown for, ba for backing photos. And because you only see a little bit of it, I cut the inside out. I cut the inside out of both of them. As you can see, that's the background paper of this one. Just because I like to make my paper stretch. So there is that one. That's my family. And um, my daughter, Ashley, she's a photographer. There's Ashley. She sets up the tripod and then we all pose for the picture. So she can be in there as well. She has it on a timer. So there's that one with this over here. How's that? And then this is a two page spread as well. And I kept this one just as it is. It's exactly as it is. So there's that. And that was from, was that the paint? Nope, this is a different day. This is at camp. So there's that. And then this one here, I kept exactly how it was. I love that little banner. Isn't that cute? So I'm trying to turn my lighting. So there we go. That's a little bit better. So there's that one. And this one too was a one page of Virginia's. And I'm pretty sure I followed this one right to the T. And here I painted one of those uh, propane tanks at camp to make it look like a pumpkin. And then every year my daughter and I, we do a fall display outside. And there's my daughter, that's my youngest daughter, Christy, in front of her display. And then here, uh, this was just leftovers from the kit. And this was inspired by Megan Andrews from SCT 101. She kind of, it's a, it's a, Scrap and Cards Today, SCT, and it's a class. You can take, take this class anytime. You get um, all the content you get forever. So she was doing not 
I forget what her class was here, but I just will take her sketch or something similar to what she did. And so that is that one, another camp photo. And then the last one, I think I might have seen something like this on Pinterest before. Um, and I have a lot of them throughout. Like this is my one of my newest layouts, but I have some older ones that I did. And what I do is I keep all the bar barcode strips and some of the papers and sometimes I use washi tape. I just put it on the back of some car's sock and because this was their fall photo, that's my oldest daughter, there are my two adorable grandchildren and then my son-in-law. So that was their fall picture, so more fall themed. So all of these pages were from um, the collection Kit Crush by Virginia Nebel, except for the last three pages I made on my own. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you all have a safe and very creative day today. Bye now!